Hey, it's Ron the Dream Roper. I got some information that should be very helpful to you if you're at retirement age, past retirement age, or approaching retirement age. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, retirement age, right? I had the, what looks like bad luck, but really was good fortune to be voluntarily retired, involuntarily retired at age 65. And my mission right now is to help people who are in the same boat I was in or even approaching that age to approach retirement from an angle of feeling better, looking better, and hopefully have a little more money if that's what you need. And speaking of money, I uh, recently read an article, which I'm going to read, or I'm going to read off some notes because I don't want to miss anything, right? But it's uh, tips on how to boost your retirement income. Now, do I fully agree with everything? Not necessarily, but I believe it's all valuable information. They say now, People on Social Security, which is going to be 80-some percent of retirees from and the 2017 average, is $13.60 a month. Okay? Now, there's those that have invested and have some extra income coming in, and that income from assets is probably less than two-thirds of retirees, and that's $15.42 a month on average. Okay? Pensions only 32% of pensions, 23% are working, probably for less than 25 grand a year. And unfortunately, 7% are on public assistance of some form. So what does that mean? It means that this wonderful dream we had of retiring and doing all the things that we didn't have time to do when we're working has gone out the window. So what are we going to do about it? Well, here's these five tips, and then I'm going to give you a couple tips of my own at the end, okay? Postpone retirement. Oh, that's good news, right? Two, postpone Social Security. That might be less bad news. Get a retirement job. Whoopee. What the heck are you retiring from, right? And postpone taking out savings. That's probably a kind word of saying, hey, don't spend your money, save it. And lastly is tap your home equity. Probably referring to these uh, reverse mortgage loans and whatnot. Okay. So, what have I done personally? Started a business from home when I uh, was unemployed. Now, what does that mean? Well, I leveraged on my experience and contacts and whatnot to work in an industry that I had that had worked in all my life. And you can do that as a consultant too. Along the way, I found a better way. And why do I mean a better way? It means I have more control of my time and money, etc. And truly working for home or, and home being wherever I choose to be working from. Okay. So I've got uh, a handout here. You can get that's download it. Seven, seven essential steps you should consider in looking at a home business. Take a look at that. It could be helpful to you. I encourage you to go and download that sucker right now. And you can get a better idea of what your options are. Ron McLean, the Dream Roper, helping you lasso your dreams. God bless.